welcome to Dove Ventures. If you're new to the channel, we have just sold our Volkswagen Transporter campervan conversion. Now we had this campervan conversion for four years and what I'm going to do today is I'm going to talk about exactly how much it costs to keep that van for four years and tell you all the approximate cost of what we actually spent on it. So first of all guys, how much did the van actually cost four years ago when we bought it? Well, we bought it as a panel van and it cost us £21,000. Now, as soon as we bought it, one of the main things that we got done that cost like the most amount of money for one thing is we got a rock and roll bed fitted and that cost us £1,500. Not long after that, we then got a electric leisure battery um, system fitted into the van and that cost us about £500. One of the main reasons that we got the electrics done quite quick when we got the van is because we, we knew that we wanted to get a diesel heater. So we got an air dispatcher diesel heater and that cost £1,200. We got two windows fitted to the side of the van. One of them was a fake window but the other one was a window so you could actually see outside and that cost us £300. Now we actually got the insulation done on the van as soon as we got it and that cost us almost £500. Cut a long story short, it turned out that they didn't do that, but we've done a video on that if you want to check that out. But yeah, so the insulation, eventually when we did get it done, cost £500. So far, we'd spent £3,700. Okay, let's talk about the servicing costs in the four years that we had the van. So, during the four years we had four services, and the four services came up to £440. We also had had four MOTs during this time as well, and that was £120. We also had a timing belt fitted. Now the timing belt cost us £400 to get it fitted. Now when we had the timing belt done, it wasn't because it had reached like the mileage, because at that point we'd only done about 35,000 miles, but it had reached its five year advised time for it to get replaced, so that's why we got it replaced. So, four years of maintenance costs cost us £960. So guys, the tax and insurance. The tax and insurance for four years cost £3,100. So guys, then we've got the general wear and tear of the van over the four years. To be honest, there wasn't that much that we needed to really do with the van other than the servicing. We've already mentioned them costs, but one thing that we did have to do is we put four new tyres on the van and that cost £500. Now the only cost that we've not mentioned in any of this, if we're talking about everything that we spent with the van, is the fuel costs. Now we had the van, like I said, for four years and we did 19,000 miles in the van. But guys, I'm going to need a calculator to work out roughly how much fuel that we spent. What we're also going to do in this video is work out all the costs that we've paid for everything to do with the van and work out if we've over four years if it was free motoring. Right, so what I'm trying to do now is I'm trying to work out like how much it's cost for 19,000 miles of fuel cost. Now, the only way that I can do this is by getting a rough estimate and by doing that, I'll have to work out the average miles per gallon on the VW Transporter. So, so looking at this, it turns out that the miles per gallon is going to be quite difficult to work out, but looking at an average between 27 and 44 miles per gallon for a 2015 Volkswagen Transporter, I'm going to put it at around about 35 miles per gallon. So I need to try and work out that if we did 19,000 miles and we got 35 miles per gallon, I'm going to get an approximate figure. And you know what, guys, it is going to be approximate because it's going to be quite difficult to work this out because obviously fuel prices change all the time. So I've worked this out. Like I said, this is a very, very rough figure, you know, and it could be quite a bit out. So looking at 19,000 miles at roughly 35 miles per gallon, I've worked out that the cost for fuel over four years has been about 2,710. Now that is a real like estimated like amount, you know, it, it's probably way out, but just to get a rough figure because fuel price is changing all the time, it's quite difficult to do. So we've took everything that we paid for the van, including the price of it, the maintenance costs, the things that we had done to it, tax, insurance and fuel costs. So let's work it all out and see how much it actually comes to. And then I'm going to tell you how much we actually sold the van for. So owning the van for four years cost us £29,260. Now, if I include the fuel price into that as well, that comes to 31970 
So, how much did we actually sell our van for? We sold it for just under £30,000. Now this figure that I've told you before, without adding the fuel cost on top, 29260 We actually made money on the van. Now four years of ownership and all the mileage that we did and all the memories that we have from it, that's not bad going. Now I do know that when we sold the van that van prices had increased but still it's pretty much free motoring. Now if you do include the fuel price it means that owning the van for just over four years didn't even cost us £2,000 and that's including everything that I'd listed. Now we didn't have a typical layer in our camper van, it was a rock and roll bed, we had the electrics, we had a heater, you know, and we had like some storage units in the van. Now if we'd have put like the full conversion kit inside, we probably would have made even more money on the van. What do you guys think? Put it in the comments below. What I will say is from the conversion that we did, you know, we still didn't lose any money, so that's absolutely fantastic. Now what do you guys think? Do you think that we sort of like made like a little bit more money when we sold it even though we'd owned it for four years and there was no depreciation on the vehicle. Do you think that's because we turned it into a camper van or do you think it's because of the Volkswagen brand? Put it in the comments below, let me know what you guys think. The thing is, what I do know is there's not many vehicles that you can keep for four years and not lose any money on it. So guys, that's it for today's video, a nice simple video. We have been asked a lot of questions about the prices and the cost of the van that we had. So I thought that I'd put it in a video just to let you know everything about all the prices and what we spent and everything. Like I said, some of the prices, they are approximate, um, you know, so it is like give or take a little bit. So guys, we've got a lot of exciting videos come up. So stay tuned, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Press the like button if this video has been useful. Until the next one, guys, bye for now.